Hi friends, welcome back to Arkel SQL and PLS SQL group. So today we are going to discuss about what is cursor and what is reference cursor and what are the differences between cursor and reference cursor. So friends, as you all know, uh, cursor is a uh, temporary work area created by Arkel known as context area for processing an SQL statement which contains all information needed for processing the statement. For example, number of rows processed, etc. A cursor is a pointer to the context area. A cursor holds the one or more rows written by the SQL statements. That means whenever a SQL statement is executed, the result of the particular query will be stored in a particular location or area is called as context area. That area here we are calling as cursor. So this is a temporary work area that is created by Oracle. This is called cursor. And whereas coming to reference cursor, a reference cursor is like a pointer how we had in other programming languages. Uh, say for example, uh, pointer uh, in general po pointer holds the address of a any particular variable. Here, the reference cursor holds the address of a cursor. Uh, when you say address of a cursor, here the cursor is context area or temporary area created by Oracle for processing the SQL statements for storing the result of a SQL statement. So it is storing the address of the cursor. If you see the exam, uh, if you see the definition of a reference cursor, a reference cursor is a PLSQL data type whose value is memory address of a query work area on the database. So when you say query work area on the database, it is called as cursor. So it is a data type whose value is the memory address of cursor. So moving to the next point, here we will see the differences between cursor and reference cursor. So reference cursor is dynamic, that means it cannot be changed at runtime. Whereas cursor is static, it cannot be changed at runtime. Reference cursor is dynamic that can be changed at runtime, but cursor cannot be changed at runtime because it is static. This is the one important difference and the other difference is reference cursor can be returned to client this is the main advantage of reference cursor and normal cursors cannot be returned to the clients so reference cursors is the one of the most powerful flexible and scalable way to return a query result from oracle database to a client application so this is the reason we are going for reference cursor concept so reference cursor cannot be global but the normal cursor can be global this is another difference and the last difference between reference cursor and cursor is that reference cursor can be passed from one sub program to other sub program that means the reference cursor can be passed from one procedure to other procedure and one procedure to other package likewise one sub program to other sub program that can be passed easily but whereas in cursors that is not possible that means cursor cannot be passed to any sub program so friends these are the several differences between cousins and difference cousin if you have any questions or if you need any clarifications please comment on my video thank you for watching this video thank you so much